Hey, hi there, you guys, Capricorn. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your other videos and your other placements, because my readings, they do meld together. Today, you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight deck and one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Capricorn, you've got the Three of Cups, Water Energy. This is the overall theme of the reading, Mercury in Cancer, a card of celebration, get-togethers. It's cooperation with like-minded people. It brings in healing and abundance. It's a positive growth pattern. This is being sociable, joyful, affectionate and playful, warm and loyal. There's unity and emotional support. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Capricorn. You may or may not be aware of this. Page of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This could be about a communication that you may be waiting for to come in. You could be vigilant about this. Maybe you wanted to know the more about this news. Could be investigating, gathering information. In this position, these energies are restricted. It's bringing in some tension and challenge. It can be nervousness or anxiety. It could be an upsetting message. This can be an indiscreet person. They may be annoying. They might act like a know-it-all. They're full of empty promises. They could have a sharp tongue. They may deba debate passionately. The Three of Cups with the Page of Swords is celebrating new information or a new communication. It's making emotional connections. It can be group networking. Here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of, Capricorn. The Five of Wands, Fire Energy. This is Saturn in Leo. Saturn always brings in some restrictions. This has to do with uncertainty, shifting vibrations, feeling some unrest. It can be a competition in social or career areas, a scramble. This is a challenge, a struggle. It's petty obstacles and annoyances. It's short-term difficulties in communication. And once that's overcome, it can change things for the better. This can be conflicting egos, holding your position within drama. It can be a card of ordeals, tests, fighting for what matters to you, a competition of some sort. The Three of Cups with the Five of Wands is a friendly competition, and it's healthy unless it's pushed to excess, and then it leads to unnecessary drama and confusion. It can also be that the host is the center of the party. It can also represent jealousy. Your fourth card. The card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Capricorn, you've got number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Strength. This could be a Leo. Leo could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Strength card is ruled by the sun. This is an irrevocable fate card. There's courage and determination and inner strength. It can be a test of fortitude and having self-control. This can be a strong desire and raw feelings being put into check. It's a time when faith in yourself will pay off. It's staying strong in spirit, being self-disciplined. It tells us not to fear our emotions and allow negative feelings to come out in a positive way. It's reaching deep to pull up your inner strength when facing adversity and meet 
meet it with love and compassion. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. There could be hidden feelings. This is a union of desires. The Three of Cups with a Strength card is being the heart of the group. It's uniting strong emotions. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are aware of this, Capricorn. The Ten of Pentacles. Earth energy. This is Mercury in Virgo. This has to do with an enduring energy, a legacy, ancestors, home. It's a monetary gain, increased stability. It can be an inheritance. It can have to do with a solid and secure life, home and family, wealth and social standing, permanence. Physical security can also be passive income, a house or a dwelling, a strong family background. It's a card of traditions and investments. It can also be, be big companies. The Three of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles is a gathering of the clan. It's a family get-together. It's happiness and culmination. The Three of Cups, no, the Page of Swords with the Five of Wands is being heard in a noisy crowd. It's sticking up for someone. It's being assertive in a competitive discussion. Someone could be a game player. The Page of Swords with the Strength card is a strong talent. It's new information and fortitude. The Page of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles is news about a long-term stability or a family or home. The Five of Wands with the Strength card is fortitude with a struggle that is happening. The Five of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles is family conflict or struggles. It could be a struggle with stability. There is some uncertainty. The Strength card with the Ten of Pentacles is a strong family controlling stability. Let me see here. Your Wisdom of the Oracle card is No Place Like Home. I've This is the third time I've had to do this video over, so I had to look for this card. No Place Like Home. Card number 50, in reversed. So we read the protection message. There are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory-driven creatures, and we all look for certainty, for what we know, even if the qualities we seek in other people and in external certain conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar, and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Remember, if you do what you did, You'll get what you got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar, and you will attract and be drawn to the very things that you don't want anymore. This time will not be different unless you do something different. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.